Joining us by Skype is Fred uh, Wertheimer, the founder and president of Democracy 21, an organization working to strengthen our democracy and promote government integrity, accountability, and transparency. Mr. Wertheimer is a recognized national leader and spokesman on money and politics issues, including campaign finance, ethics, lobbying, and transparency reform. Mr. Wertheimer, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for this opportunity to testify. Uh, I am president of Democracy 21, a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization that works to strengthen our democracy. It goes without saying that our campaign finance system is completely broken. Billionaires, millionaires, and secret contributions are flooding our elections with big money in amounts never seen before. It's also clear that the American people overwhelmingly reject this system and want fundamental changes. Democracy 21 applauded the campaign finance reform plan issued last fall by Hillary Clinton. We recommend that the key elements of this plan be incorporated into the platform. These elements include creating a small donor public matching fund system for federal candidates, overturning the disastrous Citizens United decision, and closing the gaps, the gaping disclosure loopholes used to spend secret contributions in federal elections. In our view, the small donor public matching funds approach is the most essential legislative reform needed to fix the campaign finance system. Democracy 21 has recognized the very important role Bernie Sanders played during the primaries in placing the campaign finance issue at the center of the national debate. Senator Sanders has had unique success in raising small contributions to finance his campaign. Unfortunately, this approach is currently the exception for federal candidates. A small donor public matching fund system can make it the rule. Senate and House Democrats are also expected to inject the campaign finance reform issue into the national debate during the coming months. A system of matching small contributions with multiple public funds will empower ordinary Americans, greatly increase the value and importance of their small contributions, dilute the impact of big money, and allow federal candidates to run for office without becoming obligated to big money funders. Other key reforms are needed and also should be incorporated in the platform. They include creating a new campaign finance enforcement agency to replace the dysfunctional failed FEC and establishing new rules to prohibit coordination between outside spending groups and candidates. The public is demanding change and cynical about whether it will ever occur. In the past, commitments to pursue campaign finance reform have been made by Democratic presidential candidates before they were elected and, when the, and were then ignored after they became president. To show the American people that the commitment to campaign finance reform is real this time, we recommend that statements along the following lines be included in the platform. A Clinton administration will take campaign finance reform to the country as a national priority early in 2017 and for as long as it takes to win this battle for the American people. A Clinton administration will work with members of Congress to develop comprehensive campaign finance reform legislation and to have it introduced in Congress during the first 100 days of our presidency. A Clinton administration will devote the time, energy, and resources needed to win the campaign finance reform battle. The American people want fundamental changes in our campaign finance system. A failure by Washington to deliver on this will create an even more disaffected and more, public, more cynical public than currently exists about Washington and our elected representatives. 
The battle for fundamental campaign finance reform must be fought, and it must be won. Thank you again for this opportunity to testify. Thank you.